it won't even light anymore. To be fair, when I started, it was like, uh, yay big, and now it's yay big. This is the average man's penis size, just so you know. <sighs> it's time. Uh, this is a video I've kind of been dreading making. Not necessarily because I've been dreading it, but because I've been dreading admitting it to myself. Let's talk about icebergs. It's finally here. Um, I'm pretty sure, I haven't fact-checked, so kill me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I have the most completed, fully explained iceberg charts on a YouTube channel ever. I know there's a lot more famous iceberg YouTube channels. There's a lot more high-quality iceberg YouTube channels. But I, another pen, some guy in the room with a crusty-ass mirror that is screaming for Windex and Mercy, I have done the most, and if not, I'm very close to having done the most. So, I'm coming to you today to say that it's time to creatively change gears. You know, when I started doing icebergs, I was a 16, man. I found it interesting. I found it cool. You know, it was a great study guide. I could learn a lot about a topic like that. And a lot of the earlier ones were these, like, really oddball, goofball things. They were pretty enjoyable. Um, but it's not a style of content, a platform of content that allows me to create things that I'm creatively proud of. If you look at a lot of my newer videos, um, most recently the ones post that event, they're better. They're good. I'm proud of those videos. And for a long time, that was something I shamefully could not say about my videos is that my videos were never going to be high quality. And to have been able to take it on on my own and prove that my videos could be really high quality and that I could be creatively free to make whatever I want and still pursue my dream and prove it less to the thousands of people watching but more to myself was beautiful. It was, it was fantastic. And I was, I was really going to try to bring you the end of the philosophy iceberg, the last iceberg. I started. Uh, there's been technical difficulties. Believe it or not, consistently rendering hour-long videos is really not good for computer health. Um, just isn't. I can still do short videos and my computer won't detonate on me, uh, but the old workhorse here can no longer handle uh, just casually taking on a few hours worth of videos and like at least 24 hours worth of editing and still still spit me something out and ye old workhorse here does not have a few grand to spare to go buy a new computer so uh not only because of personal reasons but technological limitations icebergs are well for the most part they're done for for now um i still am going to finish the 1000 mysteries entries iceberg that i have been working on dutifully for a while now because I am genuinely really passionate about that one. I really wanted to be able to take it on and do it. It was something like the true crime iceberg, but unlike the true crime iceberg, it was, it's new. It's almost all of it's done by me. It doesn't have a lot of things that past videos have that I'd like to let go of or avoid. The mystery iceberg is something that I'm genuinely really happy that I'm doing. So that's still happening. Um, but beyond that, I can't really say I'm going to even be able to do much, considering my computer tops out at 45 minutes video length. I'm not going to be able to do much in the way of icebergs that I used to, and I don't really have an interest in doing it in that way anymore. That's a little bit of a kick to the nuts, and I am... Sorry for those of you who genuinely feel disappointed by this, but I would like 
to tell you that this isn't an end to my creative endeavors at all. This is a new beginning that I'm so excited for because there's always been three distinct genres of videos. There's the videos I make, there's the videos I want to make, and there's the videos that I'd love to make, but the other two kind of get in the way. And the videos I make has always been icebergs, iceberg, 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 iceberg. If you look at anything I upload that isn't plastered with iceberg in the title or the description, oh my god, nobody even cares. And that's kind of sad. Uh, but the things that I make that aren't iceberg, I can put all this effort into and I can make it something wonderful. And that is wonderful. So I'm going to be focusing on that. Uh, there will still be the consolidated chunks of Mystery Iceberg where I go and I get all of it into hour-long content. And this isn't like an end to informational content on my channel. I love learning. I love jokes. I love spreading happiness and making people laugh. YouTube was this beautiful way to combine all three. And I am in no way going to let go of that because at the end of the day, that's what I'm passionate about. Icebergs were just a really silly, goofy way to do all three real easy in one go. But, um, if you look at the content of my non-iceberg videos, or even just my one-off mystery entry videos, it's the same. It's exactly the same. It's still me talking about something. It's still me learning about something. It's still us together, me and you, you in the little magic box. I'm the tiny gay person in your phone. How does that feel? How does it feel, by the way? Me and you learning something together, and it's just not going to have Iceberg in the title or the thumbnail. It's not going to be a Polar Bear Holmes as if a strap-on shoved nine inches into your anus. I've, I'm just getting rid of that iconography. And it's really liberating to say that. You know, November has never been my month for... um personal reasons. When I joke about my life is <laughs> horrifically fucking depressing, that's not a joke. That's just the truth, and I laugh about it. But I did not want to spend this month the way I'd spent November years beforehand, just burnt out and doing nothing. And the way I figured how to do that was to do what I love doing. And I just don't have that same kind of love for icebergs anymore. And that's okay. People grow, things change, everything moves on. Uh, if this video, like, royally pissed you off, go ahead, unsubscribe. There won't be any hard feelings. I highly doubt anyone not subscribed to the channel already is going to be seeing this video. Mostly because it's just me staring into a camera talking for almost 10 minutes right now. This is, is this the Wendigoon approach? If I announce that I'm from the Midwest and I become Christian, will I be handed a million subscribers? This is not to discredit Wendigoon's work at all. I actually love the guy as much as I joke about him being my worst nemesis. Great content. But I just wanted to get that off of my chest because I'm <laughs> like fist fighting my computer, trying to get it to edit another fucking iceberg video. And I just had to stop and think, why? Why are you doing this, man? Do you even want to be doing this? And the answer was no. The answer was a resounding no. Um, in the meantime, though, not icebergs. Not icebergs. But if you have an interesting thing, I'm talking weird, horrifying, mortifying, anything. You got anything cool that you think, yeah, this guy can make a video on it. Send it to me, man. Uh, I'm actually going around, I'm like harassing a lot of my friends for stuff like that, especially this one patron in particular. Um, they are a patron. I know them through work, but they'll just come up to me at work and we'll talk for like hours about the weirdest shit. Stuff like that is what I want to be able to make videos about. Uh, so gay Ken dolls and strange doctors and all 1000 mysteries and anything else in general, alongside all the silly little video essays I plan on writing, 
is what's going to be there. And I think that that is a great new leaf to turn. I've been saying a lot of the same thing for the last 10 minutes. It doesn't really feel like... <laughs> Let's not feel like 10 minutes when you're talking. But I digress. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being along on this ride with me. I'm excited. I really am. I'm excited to see what I can make next and what the future holds. So, um... This is goodbye to Icebergs for now, with the exception of the Unsolved Mysteries Iceberg, because I love Unsolved Mysteries Iceberg. Daddy Unsolved Mysteries Iceberg. But we're turning a new leaf. I'm really excited for it. So, again, thank you so much for watching and being here. It's been... Oh, my God. 2022... Um, 2021, I swore to myself, the end of 2021, I swore to myself that I was going to come back harder than ever, that I was going to swing harder than ever, that I was going to reach all of my goals. And, you know, I did a really good job at it. I started my fitness journey. I mean, I'm no longer like some land whale. I mean, if you look at me, I look thinner, which is so great. And I can do this little, little skin trick with this guy. Uh, I promised that I'd have a car again. I did. I promised myself that I'd get paid on YouTube. I did. And, you know, the universe saw me taking a few W's and was like, damn, I'm gonna give this motherfucker the worst trauma of his life. And, well, let's just say there's a few things of 2022 that are for the therapist's office. They're, 2022 is gonna be a long chapter when I can afford therapy. But, I'm doing it. We're doing it. And I'm really excited and glad to be here. I've been rambling way too long. I need to just shut the fuck up. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you again in the next video I make. Have a great time. And until next time, memento mori.